is the person that wrote the report, is the person that should come and present it, and you weren't elected by anybody, and you're here. I do my best to get these under uh, 10 minutes, and sometimes I, I get going and I miss the fact that I'm winding up to a certain point. In the previous 10 minutes was a wind up to show the very macro of how memetics work, folks. When you have a situation that once you're really down in it, looks impossible to discern. It's like putting up your Christmas lights and you pull up the big ball and you're like, how does that happen? But if you're very, very cautious with it, you can undo it and you will finally get to the beginning and the ending of this. And what is the beginning and the ending? And how do you get there? Through the straightest way possible. And that is through the truth. Make straight the way of the Lord, they would say. From the desert is where you would hear that voice calling out in the wilderness. And hopefully you're in the desert of your sin. And from that desert in your sin, you'd be able to have the quiet and the peace to pray for those who need it. And right now it is this country, folks, we are having one political party who is so hell-bent on power. Remember, this is yours two, there's two directions to go here. You are altruist, you are altruistic for all working for love in a sense of creation or in a sense of destruction. You're working for power through the profane through deceit and what we've seen now in the mainstream media is by hook or by crook that they do not mind completely bold-faced lying to you how many people said that the dossier was credible when we know for a fact that it wasn't but you know what we've learned in this entire process we know how the fisa court works we know that a, what a pre-dawn raid is supposed to look like, and we know that CNN's not supposed to be there. And we know that there's an American public who's been raised on one-hour cop shows and procedurals and movies, and they know that what they're watching stinks. And then every time the mainstream media doesn't like something, they label you white nationalist, a Nazi, a racist, 25th Amendment, Stormy Daniels. They go through the batting order in which they've never once gotten a hit and now they're not going to be able to use those labels because they've been shown to erode over time they just doesn't work 10 years ago if you called somebody a racist or a nazi look what happened to mark Furman in the n-word during the oj trial how powerful that was and now you've had a mainstream media that has just said it relentlessly over and over and over and over and over for nothing other to just beat it like the dead horse that it is. So this is what we have learned. You know how the FISA works. You know how human intelligence works. You now know how a, uh, well, you know how a, a, uh, an investigation is opened up. You know what has to happen in order for them to get a FISA. You know that it's absolutely wrong when you look at Burke telling Nadler when to bang the gavel. Again, he gets to be the witness, the prosecutor, and tell Nadler when to bang the gavel. In what fucking country is that happening in? In the one where they're trying to overthrow this in the name of bringing in soft communism, using foreign money, be it George Soros or China? Again, here is the macro that was sold. Durham, Trump. Air Force One, Bill Barr, they go around, they talk to the governments, they tell them what they're doing. It's all above board because they know every single one of their sentences, commas, and pauses are going to be read into as crimes and are going to be covered with every text message and every piece of comm that there is. And therefore, they act in accordance with that, knowing that this will end up in a court of law, not a court of public opinion. And what is the macro on the other side? Joe Biden and his kid hopped on Air Force Two, flew to China, shook a couple hands, and the kid came home with $1.5 billion. And there are the two movies that you get to watch, folks. The media cries wolf. Everything that they don't like is now connected to Putin. You realize if you point out that the Biden kid took 1.5 billion. They tell you that that's a Putin talking point when it's the absolute truth. 
I know that when I when I look at what is not a confident picture of these these people bringing forth these articles of impeachment, it looks like the saddest Last Supper that I've ever seen. Pelosi's crying face looks just like Feinstein's crying face when Feinstein failed in the Kavanaugh hoax and Pelosi fails in this hoax and their crying faces are the same. And does it matter because is, is the CNN and MSNBC still so hard in the tank? No, because they're losing their weapons. And, the, and what lawfare had to do in defending this, they blew all of their ammo. All of their, remember this whole thing leads in accusations and now they're running out of people to accuse. They need Trump in the news cycle because he's the only thing that gives anything air. How are they going to cover when information comes out that's damaging to the Democrats coming out of the Ukraine and they can't fucking stop it? In the same way that the ambassador stopped it because she wouldn't let people have access to the State Department who was going to deny them coming to the United States anyways, even though they had evidence that would impact the security of the United States of America and our elections. But our ambassadors on behalf of the campaign, the, the Obama, January 2016, when that whole plot was hatched, is attached to Ivanovich, who will not let them come over and give this, attached to the State Department, who is part of this process of bringing in and pointing out that the Steele dossier is shit, even though every time they were looking at something else, they forgot that it, was, they forgot that it existed at all. And that's it. And that's really what it comes down to in this simple, simple macro. It's going to be these ne'er-do-wells who have put up basically, you know, okay, I, this is exactly, I wrote this to my buddy, Tim Mathis, follow him, he's on Facebook, and he tells the truth. He's one of the few people on here. There's a few, there's a few, there's a few comics online you can actually have a conversation with. And it's refreshing because everything just can't come down to name calling to tinfoil hat memes because that's not how everything gets better. When you realize that even though people have partisan differences in the end, we all want to rid corruption. We want to know that if our tax money is not being sent via aid to a foreign country, which then filters into NGOs and then come back, it comes back into the pockets. Is that exactly? <coughs> Again, I'm having the Hillary Clinton coughing fit. Is that exactly? how these congressmen and senators end up to be multi, 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 multi millionaires despite an income that would not get them that much money? Is it because your tax money is sent via aid to an NGO, split back up, laundered, hidden, and then sent right back into the pockets of the people who agreed to send it? So what they did and what they are doing now is they are putting this in a completely bulletproof, completely bulletproof legal frame where we are going to find out that the Obama administration tasked a small group of Intel officials to open up this investigation because they were unable to get and spy on our own citizens. They reached out to friendly foreign sources who did the human Intel work and did the data collection for us on our behalf and then gave us that information. Folks, if that is not the president, using his office to coordinate with a foreign government to go against a political rival, then I don't know what is. And that's why they've had the Democrats repeat this over and over and over and over and over. Because every single pundit, every single bobblehead on CNN and NBC has said this ad nauseum as they have real people being convicted, shown up in what will be the simple, simple meme the simple, simple use of memetics that will shift the public from, oh, I don't know, I think everything's this, to holy shit, it's been that the whole time. How did we not know? And so what they did is they caught the Democrats in the middle of a shoddy frame-up job. They found the ambassadors blocking entry. They found the people in the State Department blocking entry. They said similar comms and money from the people who were leaking stories that you had access to information that they should not have had access to. And again, it's the macro, folks. And there's no more macro for the sham of this impeachment than the prosecutor and a witness who wrote the report also gets to tell Nadler when to bang the gavel. And that's not America, folks. God bless America. Iron Brigade, JohnToll.net.